Brrr. This will be a hidden cellar. It's dark and damp and awfully cramped down here, isn't it? It's like we're exploring an ancient ruin or something. What fun! When you put it like that, miss, it does seem rather fun, doesn't it? Puppy love, what's it doing to you, pinstripes? Still, this is no time for games, is it? We must make a thorough investigation of the cellar. Whoa! Thanks! Oh, neat! Nothing here. Oh, wait, something here. Oh, light. Of course. Oh. Ah, oh, puzzle! Is this it? Now, here's a suspicious looking box, wouldn't you say? I wonder what's inside. No, don't open it. Something hideous could be inside. Oops, I seem to have opened it already. Catriel! Oh, sorry, just look too fascinating to ignore. So, anyway, there are no cows for him. It's only a puzzle inside. Yeah, okay. I say puzzle because then he would, uh, the button would have appeared. Fit for a king. You visit a castle to show the king the five treasure chests you collect on, the, on your adventure. However, castle regulations say that each visitor may carry only one item of luggage. You are here with one companion, and you are three minutes walk from the king is, from where the king is located. How many minutes will it take to show the king all the treasure chests? One chest counts as one item of luggage. So, okay, let me use some symbols of logic here. I know, it's scary. I know, I'm scared too. But the idea here would be that each one has to carry, so three minutes each. So six, nine, no, six, twelve, fifteen minutes would be my guess. But then again, I don't think the answer would be this straightforward. It rarely ever is. You are correct, sir! So I'm gonna th sit back and think. One million zillion jillion dillion cotillion times later. I guess I, can, I think I learned something there. If a puzzle says a s doesn't say something, then it's most likely possible to you to, you know, go with it. So for example, say, here's saying, sorry. Sorry, I need to, need to scratch my nose. Here, it says a regulation that you need to carry only one bag in your luggage. And that's a three minute walk from where the king is located. And that you want to show your trip, but how? Huh? But it never says that you don't, that the king can't come to you. It's not saying the king is stuck in the treasure room. So, considering it's a three minute walk, three plus three is six. So it'll be a six minute walk, right? I'll have the answer shortly. Puzzles are really very simple when you know the proper methods. I was right. Yeah, rather than taking the, the king to the treasure to the king, taking the king to the treasure. Fit for a king. That was a fantastic one, Emiliana. The puzzle was perfectly fine, but the way you opened the box was specifically asked you not to do was not, to not was not. I'm sorry, I just can't help myself. The curiosity would kill me if I didn't look. It could have also killed you if you looked, because you know, curiosity killed the cat, you know. Oh, the mirror. Makes sense, because it is one of them. Yeah! The, the mirror, the, the reflection. It's hideous! Alright then, we found it. So it won't be long before... Y yes, you're right. Any moment now. <sighs> One is advised not to approve the mirror, man. Right on cue. Hello, Wooster. I presume this is the morbid mirror? Indeed, ma'am. The discovery here in this cellar is... unexpected. Nevertheless, this is certainly the mirror in question. Reflecting as it does a singularly unpleasant visage. Even 
as we speak. It is your own face, oh, sir. Indeed, man. It is said the looking, the looking glass harbors magical powers. One is reminded of a deeply reflective puzzle. Perhaps you and you are acquainted with it. Get your light to shine on the treasure at the bottom of the lake. Beneath the water lies mysterious crystals that reflect light just like mirrors. If you select one of these crystals, it more than doubles in size. You can change the direction in which the light travels. They say something happens if, if the treasure is illuminated. Oh! So... Oh, okay, okay. Okay, I'm oh, sorry. Darn it, so close. Ah, okay, I get it. Yeah, you can't grow this one because. Okay, okay. Okay, let me just make sure everything is shrunken down. Okay, it's gonna take a little while for me to figure this one out. But yeah, it's an interesting puzzle at least. I'll be with you. I'll be back with you guys once I figure this one out. Just that. Oh, I got it. Nice. I'll have the answer shortly. Puzzles are really very simple when you know the proper methods. You know, I'm starting to think the reason that she's here is just so we can use that. Some guy was really proud of this, but apparently she's not being used enough on this animation. So you know what? Let's make a one where she appears a lot of times and we solve a lot of puzzles with her. That's what it feels like. You did it. When the light reaches a treasure, it's mysterious float up to the surface. Looks like it was searching for a new owner. Nice. But then again, the thing could be cursed, so careful. There's more than one way to get light to reach the crystal. You, you can do it by making like four crystals bigger or eight. Play around with it. Yeah, this is like one of those interesting puzzles with multiple solutions. I kinda like those. Executed most keenly, man. If I may venture to, rem to remark, logic is a powerful tool indeed. Hmm. It could have been. It couldn't have been simpler. Now, if you'll be kind enough to excuse me, I have a prior matter to attend to. Oh, this time it was like it was slow. It was like it fast. Butlering is a busy prof. Butlering. Butlering. Jesus, is a busy profession. I see. Never mind that. Look at this. There's a void behind the mirror. Uh, just a second, guys. Uh, I think my father is calling me. Just a second. I'll be BR, BRB. So much later that the old narrator got tired of waiting and they had to hire a new one. And I'm back, guys. Let's go. Ah, hey, he severed head. It's a doll, it's a doll, Emiliana. Save your vocal cords, Emiliana. You're just a mannequin head. Yes, the head is positioned so that it appears to be an image of, in the center of the mirror. Uh, oh, oh yes, and in fact, this isn't a mirror at all. It's made of some special reflective glass. It's like one of those trick mirrors where you can see from where it appears to reflect you, but on the other side, people can actually see through it. You can actually see through it. There isn't even a lamp behind the mannequin head to illuminate it, look! Which gives the illusion of a severed head reflecting a mirror. Hmm, Alora, the mystery of the morbid mirror is solved. Gosh, that only leaves one of the White House horror stories remaining. We're murdering this investigation! Yes, it seems that rather than working separately, joining forces has really paid off. If you think so, I don't. Oh. What I need for a successful investigation is information, not collaboration. The only person I can rely on is myself. Other people are distractions. 
Okay, so it's the kind of loner mentality that I have to do everything myself. I get it. But yeah, there are adventurous teams working together and teamwork. Mostly because, for example, you can get different perspectives of things. Ah. Thanks for the pep talk, Emiliana. Talk about thinking you're the top dog. Anyway, enough of this. Clearly the morbid mirror is just another trick. Somebody around here is setting up this so-called supernatural phenomenon. Hmm? Is everything alright, Miss Layton? I just have a strong sense that somebody is watching us. The, the last of the six horrors, you mean? The searching soul? I couldn't say, but I think it would be a good idea to return to the living room. I think that should have been the last one, but eh, whatever. What a silly little trick. There's nothing remotely frightening about this. It's when you're expecting that scares you, isn't it? Ah, okay, turn off the, on the light. Huh, what a silly little trick, there's nothing blah, blah, blah. Okay, that's like interesting. Now let's go back to here. I like the on the footsteps. That's strange. No rooster. But he wasn't wasn't he just in here, wasn't he? Look! It's it's a g g ghost Ooh Ooh That is rooster, isn't it? Where did it go? It just vanished! No, it went down the corridor over there. Oh listen, I can hear footsteps. It's someone climbing the stairs, or something. Come along, everyone, after it! Gotta say, the tempo and the music rising up is like kind of fun. Are you alright, Lisa? Goodness me, whatever is the matter, you all look as white as sheets. Where is the ghost? You are not, you were hot on its heels. So the ghost is either Lisa or Wooster. That's much as obvious. Mm -hmm. It doesn't appear to be here though. It must have vanished. Cause here's the thing. The stereotype is that it's always a butler who did it. That's kind of the joke. But I wouldn't be surprised if it was like in Lisa to play a prank or just to, you know, have friends over. Or heck, it could be both of them just doing it for funsies. I don't know. You didn't see anything then, Lisa? Oh. Yeah, she still has all dolls here. That much is clear. I'm looking to see if there's anything new. Yeah. Yeah, nothing here. Oh, a mirror, nice. Yeah, so I need to talk to her. Oh, she has this puzzle. Oh, dearie. You haven't been plagued by the terrifying ghost, have you? Well, we saw a ghostly white figure, certainly. Oh my goodness, the house really is cursed. You didn't say anything yourself, Lisa? No, nothing. I've just been here in this room, though. Well, this is where the ghost was heading. And there are no other rooms it could have, could have disappeared into. Are you trying to suggest, Catriel, that it passed through a solid wall? I mean, yeah, if it really was a good, it would, it would like, make sense. Now, ghosts are ephemeral things, it could have simply disappeared. Just like they appear out of nowhere sometimes, too. Lisa, do you have any idea why ghosts might be appearing in your home? No, no idea whatsoever. Although, I feel like I do understand how a ghost must feel sometimes. Whatever do you mean by that? All along the dark, the poor ghost may be, must be very lonely. I imagine. I think they wander around looking for company, really. Just like in this puzzle. Not okay, that was like somewhat of a smooth, smooth, smooth transition. A black and white conundrum. The black ghosts travel along the white path, and the white ghosts travel along the black path. So, simple enough. 
They've been split up from their friends in the black and white maze. Use the five pan panels to connect the maze path so that the white ghosts are reunited with each other and the black ghosts are reunited with each other. Press and hold A to pick the panels so, sorry, so you can move them and complete the maze in the right hand frame. The panels that are already placed cannot be moved. Can you rotate these? No, you cannot. Okay. So, for example, this one here, it has to be one of the... For example, it could be... I think this one here, right? No, not... Wait. No, not this one. So, it has to be either this one here... Except not really, because then it just leads to nowhere. So, it could probably be this one, right? Yeah, because then it connects to this one. So this piece is here, again, I'm gonna have to use logic. This one here could be this one. Yeah, because then this goes not connected, so you can travel through all this. This one comes here. This one here. And this one here. No, wait. No, 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 I just saw, I just saw, I just saw, yeah. It's not completely right. I think I may have messed up something. Maybe like this? Nah. Nah. I was so close. Let me just go back. I know, I know, it's boring. Again, I'll see you guys in a few. Let me just see how this one works, okay? A few inches later. Okay, I think I got another one because I've been trying this puzzle way too many times. We go here first, right? Because then it connects beautifully here. Nice. Then... Oh, sorry. Then we get this one here. And connect it here. Because then, now the white ghost has this entire path here to travel, and the black one it can travel through like this. Right, right, right. Next... Maybe this one here? Again, this one was where it was prior in the first attempt, I think. Because it makes way too much sense. And then this one here. And lastly, this one. Again, this is pretty much a jigsaw puzzle, but instead of having the edges to connect, you need to connect the lines. It has to be better. Or not better, but somewhat more, ma more manageable. And I think this is right, let me check. The black one starts here, can travel all the way here, no. Okay, travel this, 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 and get him, yeah, okay. This one here starts here, travel all this way, and get, yeah, okay. Do it, I think. And that's how it's done. You did it! Now the black and white maze is all joined up again, and the pair of ghosts have been united. Finally, good for good of you. A black and white conundrum has been solved. People are so scared of the ghosts, aren't they? But even ghosts can have friends, like me. All alone in this ridiculously large house. Okay, I get it. You're lonely and all that makes sense. But it also doesn't help that you don't like going out. Because here's the thing. I, for example, I don't like going out. I don't like socializing. That's just me. But that doesn't mean I'm lonely or that I miss having interaction with people. I'm more than happy with this. Please, uh... I suppose the ghost was just... We just saw it was a so-called searching soul. Yes, and I didn't see any signs of trickery this time. Like the five other apparently supernatural phenomena. So perhaps, golly, it was a real ghost. Of course it wasn't. It must have been a trick of some kind. Hmm. A searching soul roaming around looking for company.
I think I know what this is all about. Case complete. Let's solve the case. Now I've uncovered the truth. This mystery is history. Interesting. I just completed my own profile assessment and reached a conclusion too. Well then, it looks like it's time to reveal the truth about the White House horrors and the ghosts around its corridors. Hmm. You see, we both are out the truth at the same time. How disappointing. Let's go and tell Lisa, shall we? I want to see how this is going to go. Lisa, we have managed to ascertain the truth about all the strange happenings here. You... you have? Goodness! That's a surprise, I must say. Nobody else managed to. I was expecting you to be a little bit happier than news. Oh no, I, I am happy. Please do tell me everything you learned. Yeah, I think she didn't want to because then people would come to the house and, you know, quote unquote, make it a livelier place. It turns out the ghosts were haunting the, weren't haunting the house after all. What they've been haunting is your heart. I've deduced the identity of your ghost. It's Miss Seeker. First name, attention. Who? No, that's not right. Um, let me rephrase. Not Miss Attention Seeker, but Queen Attention Seeker the 13th. <gasps> Liza, you used your wonderful craft skills to make ghosts yourself, didn't you? You deliberately engineered all this fuss, setting the people who came to investigate an impossible puzzle to solve. Boo! <laughs> I'm... Liza, you've been lonely, haven't you? I'm so sorry. I just needed company. I needed someone to talk to. Anyone. I, I just couldn't bear it any longer. And there's nothing wrong with that. But I wonder why there probably are a few barriers to do it, but still. Yeah, that was like kind of fun. Also, her name is pronounced Liza, not Lisa. Probably gonna forget it soon, but eh. Well, you can always call on me, Liza. I'll be happy to chat with you anytime you like. Oh, Catriel, you're too kind. And don't worry, I'll give you my very best consultation rate. You're going to charge her? <laughs> I'm sorry, I tried to lie, but I couldn't. <laughs> Makes sense, it is a business after all. You realize Liza hasn't been over for a chinwag even once. You think she's dressing up as ghosts again? No pause for alarm, Shell. Liza has plenty of new friends now. Ghost hunters have flocked to the house. She's even set up a club for people interested in that sort of thing. It's called The Supernaturalists. Was okay, but as I said, you could have just done that. You could have just made it a haunted mansion attraction. Would have been a huge hit. Plus, we got a lot of money. It is. Perhaps they'd be interested in a supernatural talking dog, huh? I mean, yeah, sure. This is actually a supernatural phenomenon, a talking dog. Hey, I'd wear clothes if I could. Anyway, I'm pleased for Liza. At least she doesn't have to be a lone wolf anymore. Yes, although she may be overcompensating. They seem to have ghost parties at the house every single day now. Careful, you're gonna go bankrupt like that. She sent this photograph. Look. I say. Shocking. What? Okay, that's like kind of cute. But uh, yeah, that is adorable. She was a ghost of her true, true potential for so long. I'm just waiting for the big lonely house for somebody to. Oh, just waiting the big lonely house for somebody to notice her, to be her friend. And now she had dozens of friends, 
and she can finally start enjoying her life. Yes, please. Yeah, that broken number is going to be annoying. 